Hi guys, it's Isaac here, and welcome to another episode of Budget Tech. Um, and this one's going to be a short one. Um, it's just a video response to a question that I got uh, from somebody who watched my video. Uh, so it was a really nice comment, so I'll just read out their question, which was a uh, nice review. Uh, certainly not a paid one, I see you are a genuine person who did share the experience with what you bought. I have I have a request. I had an accident and got my right thumb fractured. As I am a teacher, I found, I found it really difficult to use the blackboard anymore. So I'm looking for some interactive tablets. Thus, I reached uh, out for the boogie board sink. This thing here. Um, what I have a doubt I shall shall I change colors in the live mode or highlight certain areas I hope sync will sync to computers in live mode I reply a reply or a video will be highly appreciated yeah so uh, this video is just about answering that question um, about the boogie board sync because um, I only looked at how it works with the phone I didn't actually show about how it works on the laptop. Um, so I've got my boogie board sync here and I'm just gonna demonstrate how you can use it with your computer. And you know, if you've got a projector connected to the computer, then you can use it to interact with so many other people, um, use it in meetings and things like this. So it's not just something that can be used by teachers, it can literally be used by anyone to uh, make these kind of presentations and do their teaching and stuff so I hope this really helps um, if you could do me a favor and just click the subscribe button over here um, that would help me out really well and um, you'll get all my content uh, so let's get into it so I've got my boogie board sync here and um, as you can see I've got it connected to my computer and it's connected by Bluetooth so I've got that and I have the boogie board sync um, software that's been downloaded so I'm just going to show you how the live function works so if you just click on a new page here it brings up a new page so for instance if you're working on a screen using a projector or something uh, this is lit they'll literally be seeing your screen. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this. And if you just focus on here, I'm just gonna demonstrate how it syncs up and uses the screen. So I'm just gonna write my channel name. So C D Studio Underline yeah so i've written cd studio here as you can see and as you can see on there it's come up right. and the more you write it syncs up and then as you know it's got the save or erase button so if i just save that it saves onto this and it saves onto uh, my pages on the laptop as well all right um, if I erase this it erases from the screen as well so I've got a, a new screen where I can continue to work all right uh, another thing that you can do if I just clear that is you can choose the color of your stroke so let's say I want to write in red that's there and let's go right in red and then if I want to change and write in a different color let's say green I can go ahead and write in green um, a nice little touch as well is even though the pen doesn't have any battery or anything in it it actually 
there's actually a little tracker in it if you can see that moving on the screen i'm not actually touching the pen onto uh, the pad but you can see the tracker following the pen around um, you can also change the background color so let's say the background is black and then you can write in white like that so c d d d o in white comes out as clear as it is on here um, so you can you can play around with the colors and you know you can create many different things from art to just normal math in class you know so in the side in the side menu as well um, you can choose um, a sort of background so if you want the colors ruled you actually get a template uh, that that is literally just ruled paper but the only thing is you have to then use your tracker to know where you are so for instance if I start here my name. see it's really really difficult um, to follow that line but you can use it as a guide to you know, keep your writing straight um, if you erase that then you go back to the template different template graph paper you've got penmanship lines you've got you can even play tic-tac-toe yeah so what's that there And then so on and so forth. So there's tic tac toe, there's that. Yeah, so you can play around with the colors, and that would help you to um, do your presentations well. Um, there's also full screen mode, which I think is the mode that you will be using the most and in this mode it's literally the whole screen is taken up and your little side menu becomes this little um <clears throat> orange orange section up here on the right where you can do the same thing as i was showing you before so in this mode because it's landscape you actually have to turn the pad landscape so um, just make sure that your boogie board is the right way up and you'll be the right way up so if you want to start writing some text on the board this is C D Studio please subscribe So as I've written that on my pad, you can see it there on the screen. So if that's connected to a uh, if that's connected to a projector, that's what you'll see on the screen. Um, and if you erase that, it's gone. You can start again, and you can use templates. All these templates that you've got here. So just make sure that your tracker is there and you make your marks you know so it would take some practice getting used to the layout of this thing but when you're a pro i'm sure you you will be soon you can do all sorts of things yeah so that about sums, sums it up um let me know what you think i hope i've answered your question um please you know like subscribe and share and if there are any more questions that you'd like me to research about this thing i'm happy to do so just let me know and i will do that so 
comment below let me know what you think about my video uh, if there's anything that I missed out please bring that to my attention and I will get back to you on it thank you very much